everybody, Derek here from Badgerland Birding. Today we're going to test out the Canon Zoom Digital Monocular, which is something I've never tried before, a digital monocular. Um, so excited to see how it works for birds. It's supposed to be kind of like something you can carry in your pocket and then use. So let's give her a look. It looks pretty simple, like um, all the buttons and things. So I'm hoping it's not too complicated. We have a... Oh, it is a box within a box here. <laughs> Comes with a micro SD card for it. And then it looks like a uh, charger at the bottom too. So we have a charger. And then here is act our actual digital monocular. Comes in two colors, white and black. Warranty info. It's like a cable, a strap, and then here it is. It's smaller than I thought. This is definitely pocket size. <laughs> it feels like a tiny camcorder. It feels sturdy, like I like the material it's made out of. This part's rubber. So it has a photo button, video button, and then you view through here, and then there's a zoom menu and power button on the top. This is where the SD card goes. So we'll put our SD card in, power up, and see some birds. I charged the monocular, and Ryan and I went to see how it worked for viewing birds in the field. We have our Canon PowerShot Zoom here, all charged up. We're at Nicholson Wildlife Refuge. There's some ducks out here we're gonna take a look at. So this is the uh, first time actually taking some media with this. It just has the power button on the top. It asks for the date and time. Let's hit the zoom button. Oh. It kind of like just zooms all the way in. And then let's take some media. This focuses then, this mountain. So there are blue winged teals out there. We're definitely closer than we would be with the naked eye. Um, it's identifiable, it's a little shaky. Let's snag a few photos too. Well, let's keep moving down and see what other birds we can find. Maybe something a little closer than these ducks. Things are a little flooded here. Uh, just had an American Robin, got some footage of it. We're gonna check out the boardwalk trail. Look at this little boardwalk. Oh, it goes like right over some more flooding. That's cool. What you got? Got some swamp sparrow action. He's sitting up chirping at us. I think that's the first one I've had so far this year. On the boardwalk, we saw a couple other species, but we were only able to go so far. The boardwalk trail is just completely flooded over, so this is about as far as we can go. So we're gonna head back on the boardwalk trail and maybe see if we can take another trail. Did you hear all that? There's a real cacophony of blackbirds over here. You can hear them from a ways away. So it sounds like mostly red wings at least. We'll see if maybe we can pick out some other species too. We didn't see any other blackbird species, but we did spot an interesting sparrow. Had a nice experience with a fox sparrow sitting up. Got some with my camera and the power shot zoom. Um, I will say I can see value in this if you just need like something quick, but it's kind of takes a little while to get used to kind of the controls on it because it's not like you know like a normal camera or something um, but overall I'd say like I prefer using my regular camera for quick IDs but this is kind of like comparable to like putting your bins up if you just need to get a view of something quick We finished our walk, 
and Ryan tested the monocular out on the same teal that we saw at the beginning. Let's give this a look, see what we got here. Okay, so I think it has two zooms that you can use on it. Yeah, I think it has the digital, or an optical and then a digital. So like without any zoom, it's literally just exactly as we see it in real time right now. You get like about half the distance in with the first zoom. So like I can see these teals pretty well and like with the naked eye you can't even actually make an identification so it's definitely helpful it gets you closer it gets you up there where you can see yeah it's not too bad the clarity I don't feel like is necessarily always the same as it looks in real it's not bad but it's a little darker it feels like so you don't get the contrast of the detail so much it helps a lot if you hold it steady like since it's so light you don't really feel the weightiness of it like you would like a camera or even a pair of binoculars. So as you're kind of looking through, there's a little more shakiness, I think, than there would be something that was heavier. But overall, it's not bad. It's quick. You can take it with you pretty much anywhere. Like, you can fit in your pocket. Overall, it was fun to test out the Canon PowerShot Zoom. It's a cool little, I would call it like a novelty object. Good for beginners because it has nice big buttons that are labeled. So if you want something quick to just keep in your pocket and get media of birds, it's definitely a cool product to test out. I don't think it will replace like a nice camera or like a really solid pair of binoculars, but it's cool that you can take media on it. And uh, if you want to test it out, give it a try and let us know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like to help us reach even more people. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Yeah.